Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shah is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world know as Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, whom we learn this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the whole for the elect. And today, this message is going to be titled, The Fall of Babal. You know, uh, going into the story how the Lord, um, he took down the Tower of Babel when it was all on the uh, one language. You see, going into that's the time that Esau, you know, that's what he planned on doing. That new world order, he's trying to get everybody under that one uh, uh, wicked vibration of him. You see, and um, I'm gonna, I got this pulled up right here on Google. You type in new world order, it says... On Wikipedia, New World Order Conspiracy Theory. And it says, The New World Order is a conspiracy theory that hypothesizes a secretly emerging totalitarian world government. Uh, let me get straight to the point. Uh, it says, A New World Order is that a seek secretive power elite with a globalist agenda is conspiring to eventually achieve world domination and rule the world through an authoritarian one world government. You see, and that's their plan. You see, they want to rule the world on the one government. You see, that's why they said they're going to cause all, both small and great, to receive that, that, um, that karag when they see him, that mark of the beast. You see, that's all going to play into them um trying to bring in that that new world order hey but as in the times of old hey yahweh by shima is going to cast it down man america is going to be thrown down by violence you see and we scroll down you see this same thing this is on the back of your dollar bill nuvos auto seclorium it says the um it's a latin phrase which means a uh, new order of the ages or the new the new world order. You see? That's how you know. Hey, it's not it's not a conspiracy. This is what these devils really plan on doing. <clears throat> and I'm gonna start right here in um, Romans 15 and verse 4. Whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. And like I was going into the on the Tower of Babel being thrown down, it was written aforetime, it was written for our learning. It says that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope and that's our hope hey to watch america be thrown down as yahweh by shimal shah threw down uh, the ancient tower of babel and scattered everyone you see how he threw down all those other um uh kingdoms the uh the assyrians the babylonians the ancient babylonians the persians and the medes the Greeks, hey, all those uh, empires fell, you see? But now we're in the restored Roman Empire where they think they're going to bring in that new world order and they're going to uh, continue on forever. But how about Shemal Shah is going to get rid of and throw down hey, uh, this empire as well as he did the ones of old and raise up Yahweh Shah's empire, you see? And this is Genesis chapter 11. In verse 1, it says, <clears throat> And the world, so like, and the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and slime had they for mortar. And they said, go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. You see? I don't want to get this word for, um, I think it's city. So let us build us a city. When you go to the word city, it's H5892. It's a excitement. Anguish, you say, of terror, hey, and that's what America is, man. It's this is a, a terror, 
a place of terror, man. There's freaks everywhere, homos, uh, fake foods, uh, pedophilia at an all-time high. At eight, they have something called minor attracted persons, man. Where well, they're trying to legalize pedophilia, sex trafficking. All this go under the watch of this devil, man. Under his, under the empire of Esau, Edom. This is what goes on here, man. Terror, man. And America has more cities than states. You see? Uh, verse 4 again. And they said, go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach into heaven. And let us make us a name. You see, that's the, that's the pride of these devils, man. It says, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And Yahweh by Hashem Shai came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men build it. And Yahweh by Hashem Shai said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and they Salaki and there confound their language. You see, Lord said, let us go down. Oh, how was shining the angels? You see, it says, because we know the Heavenly Father, hey, he don't move from his throne, man. He has angels. Yeah, was shining the angels to do the work. You see? Uh, verse 7 again, it says, go to, let us go down. And there confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So Yahweh by Hashem Shai scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because Yahweh by Hashem Shai did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did Yahweh by Hashem Shai scatter them abroad upon the face of of all the earth, you see, so the Lord he cast it down, man. He said it was called um Babel. You go into the Hebrew word for Babel, H eight ninety four. Um Babal, a Babylon confusion. Hey, and that's America today, man. A big confusion place, man. A place of confusion, man, the melting pot. You see, all the nations are over here. And you see the Lord, he, he he throwing it down now. By the way, where his prophets pull the prophets out and they're chanting down this place. Herod and laying out Lord Yahweh Shah, telling you how uh, he's going to send great judgment upon this place. America's going to go down by great violence. You see? This is the book of Job, chapter 5 and verse 12. And it says, He disappointed the devices of the crafty. And who was the crafty? Esau, Edom. You see? It says, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. You see, they ain't going to be able to perform that, that new world order. What they think is hey, going to um, go on forever. And it says, the Lord is going to disappoint the devices of the crafty. So their hands, they, they ain't going to be able to perform this. Yeah, they're going to implement the karama, but sooner they think everything is going smooth, hey, the Lord is going to cast it down, man. Let me see, get the word enterprise, see what it say. Uh, let me give it much. But we know what the enterprise is. Let's get the simple Google definition. Uh, simple Google definition for enterprise. It says a project or undertaking, typically one that is difficult or requires effort. You see, mm. you ain't giving much. A program, a scheme. You see. Yep. So uh, Joe five. 
and 12 again he disappointed the devices of the crafty and you know we're going to the word devices oh right here in the uh, nlt it said he frustrates the plans of schemers so the work of their hands will not succeed you see so all this what they um uh, the new world order what they planning on doing uh chipping everybody you know you just being robots and doing whatever he tell you hey he's not going to succeed in that man does say if you by this is psalms 33 and 10. it says the lord yahweh by hashem bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught he maketh the devices of the people of none effect See, how about Shema Shah? He's going to bring these devil counsels to nothing, man. They're doing all this for nothing. It's all, a, it's all a biblical prophecy. Just so our Lord Yahweh Shah can return and throw this place down, man, violently. Deliver the elect and Yahweh Shah reign for eternity in righteousness. You see? Verse 11. The counsel of Yahweh by Shema Shah stand up forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations and what the lord said hey these devils are going down he that uh leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity you see hey that's the counsel of the lord and they're standing forever man it tell us how your shot kingdom is going to be eternal and they're standing forever it's just a matter of time you see before america be thrown down and our lord your uh is risen up and, and he ruled everything for eternity, man, in righteousness. And that's what we can't wait for, man. The book of Job, chapter 20, verse 23, it says, When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. You see, when Esau eat him, think everything all good. He got people chipped up, and hey, hey, everything's going good, fellas. Hey, how about Shema Shah going to drop missiles on this man? That fiery rain going to wipe America off the face of the earth, and the elites, hey, they're going to be the first ones to get put in chains, man. All these elite bankers, all the remaining Edomites who are in bunkers or overseas everywhere, hey, they're going to be round up. And they're going to be the first batch of slaves. You see? Uh, jumping up to verse 5. It says, Job 25, that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Yeah, hey, this, this is a short run, man. It's but for a moment because your house shy kingdom is going to be for eternal, man. It says, though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reached unto the clouds, like they said. Hey, we're gonna um he said, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach into heaven. Hey, that's what they that's what they said back then. And guess what? The Lord cast it down. Just like they said, though his excellency said, mount unto the heavens and his head reach into the clouds. Hey, even now he got all his satellites up there in the heavens. And hey, the Lord's gonna cast all that down. It says, yet. He shall perish forever like his own dung. Esau gonna perish, man. Hey, you're gonna do your, you're gonna serve your time as a slave. And after you serve your time, you're gonna be burnt off the face of the earth, man. Never to be seen again. No more Edomites. You're just gonna be just a thought. It say, they which have seen him shall say, Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea. He shall be chased away as a vision of the night. And that's what we can't wait for. Because look at the state that our people is in. He he fought the affliction, man. We went off. The Lord brought us over here for our punishment. But Esau, he still, hey, he just still fought in the affliction. Like clone Tyrone, he making clones out here, man. He gave you gangster music, pimps, hoes, drugs. Hey, and that's all what Jake want to do, man. He got pork and everything. Jake don't even know it. He got, uh, you call it gelatin. You don't even know it. You just eat shit. They got pork in it. They don't even know it, man. That's why this nigga got to go, man. And, and rightfully so. And we can't wait. 
to you how will Bahashim Al-Shah bring all hell into America, man. Bring this place down, man. It says that I also which saw him shall see him no more. And that's going to be a beautiful sight to never see an Edomite again, man. Neither shall his place any more behold him. His children shall seek to please the poor and all his hands shall restore their goods. Hey, the same way we had to build up your kingdom and you're going to do the same thing, man. You see? Once again, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Rightfully so. We can't wait for this, man. Until our Lord Yahweh shall return a hey, and it be an eternal excellency forever, man. Hey, thus saith the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. So, hey, Lord willing, this video is edifying to you, brothers and sisters. I'm going to end it off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rechakwadash. Double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who we learn this truth from. And shalom to the hopefully elect.